mantle we were talking about, as well as that siphon, that little tube that comes out that helps them move around. And Ace is a really active octopus today. But when he perhaps does settle down, what might he be what, what sort of area might he be looking for? Because uh, I'm guessing he's probably not just going to hang out right there in the open sound. Usually an octopus likes to hide in a den, so he'll start to look for a cave or crevice to hide in, perhaps under a rock or maybe under one of the pilings that is from the old pier that has fallen over. Those would be places where he could hide and squeeze into a small, safe place. And they are really good at being able to squeeze into those tiny spaces because they're what we would call an invertebrate. So they don't have, yeah, it doesn't have any bones in its body. So they're pretty squishy animals. But what he does have, one of our guests mentioned, they have a beak, don't they? And that's an actual pretty hard part in their body. That's pretty much the only hard part in their body. They use it to bite their food and bite it into small pieces, which they can swallow. And because their beak is the only hard part, if they want to squeeze through a tiny space, as long as their beak fits and the muscles around it, so will the rest of them. <laughs> That's true. And I would estimate that on Ace, maybe his beak might be about an inch or so across right now. So it might be kind of hard to tell.